Hey everybody, Rich from Trek with us here again. Uh, today I want to talk about the valances. I showed you guys my valances uh, when I did the tour of the RV, and uh, I've been redoing them. And I just want to show you guys how to do that. You actually don't really need to be a seamstress or into drapes or anything like that. All you need is a staple gun, some fabric, and a little bit of time. So I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you what I have now, and uh, then I'll show you how they're put together, how to take them apart, how to put them back together with the fabric that you want. I think this one's probably the easiest to show. Um, these are held up by screws up underneath. But, uh, okay, you can see the holes there. I've already taken the screws out, but that's it. They're just short screws, and then this whole piece comes down. And you can see these are held together with just staples. And any of the fabric is stapled. And they use very, very shallow staples to do this, which can be hard to find. So here's what I mean when I say there's a lot of staples. I took out all the ones on this first row, but you pull it down and now you can see the fabric and it's stapled all the way across as well. And uh, even in the here, in here, there's staples, there's tons in the corner, so I'm going to take them more out. Okay, I got the first first piece of uh, fabric off the top layer, and uh, you can see how there's this board screwed down to the top. <clears throat> Okay, and to get it to get it apart, I need to unscrew it all the way across here, as well as you see the screws all the way through here. So I'll take that apart and then show you what it's like. And uh, that's my pile of staples I've removed just so far. There's a bunch more. Okay, I've taken out the screws, and I'll show you. Now, even on the back here, see it's stapled in all the way across. So I'm going to have to remove those and then you can see how even though you can only see this much of this fabric they uh, they staple it way up at the top. I may not go quite that high when I when I recover these but okay I've got this thing all taken apart now. You can see they just cover it with with foam. You can see that. And then uh, all it is is it's really thin, like thin plywood, <clears throat> and it's connected to thicker plywood. There's no sewing that goes into any of this. It's I think the foam's probably glued on. Everything else is just stapled, cut, stapled, folded, stapled some more. So what I do on the ones I've done so far, and what I'll do on this one, I just take the pieces of fabric I removed, I use those as a uh, template to cut my other fabric, which is over there. I'm using some blue silk and some what I'd call linen, colored linen. And uh, I'll just use this for the, the template for the blue. And then this lovely geometric stuff on the linen. <clears throat> you can see over here, that's the pile of staples. <laughs> Then there's the screws that hold the board in place. And uh, finally, as you can see right here, these are the, the smallest staples I can find at Home Depot for kind of a traditional staple gun. These are the size that they use to put this together. So you can see they're quite a bit shallower. Um, the width doesn't really matter so much as the, the depth because the longer ones are going to stick right through the board. So uh, what I did to kind of get around that, and actually makes it easier in a lot of ways anyways. Okay, so what I'm doing to, to make up for that, I'm using these. These are uh, it's a cardboard strip, and uh, I'll show you how I attach it. But it adds just that little extra bit of depth. So the my, my longer staples, which I think are, uh, yeah, they're quarter inch. They're these guys, quarter inch staples so that they don't go all the way through the board and stick through the fabric on the other side. And these strips, uh, they're five cents for like one yard pieces of cardboard at most fabric stores. And I'll show you how I use them in just a sec. Okay, you can see how I've got my, I've got my cardboard down and you know stapled 
fairly regularly all the way across. It doesn't matter that I didn't cut it evenly because this whole front piece is going to get covered by, by a board anyways. So then all I need to do is pull this taut and wrap it around underneath and I'm going to use another piece of that stripping right along the back side uh, once I have it all taut and I'll staple it down and I'll show you that as soon as I'm done with it. Okay, I'm just going to show you guys, I've got this all put together. See, I use the uh, cardboard strips and I just tuck it in the corners, fold it, pull it, pull it as taut as I can. And then there it is along the, the front. This is going to be the visible leading edge right here. And I even use the strips on the side. And all I'm using to do this is just this. I got this at uh, Joann's Fabric. It's just a, I don't know if it's a local chain, nationwide chain, but I think it was about six bucks. So I'll get the other piece put together and I'll show you that too. Thanks. Okay, so now I have the fabric stapled to the, the front board you can see here. And uh, I'll just screw this right on. Goes right here. And then once those are screwed down, this will fold up around. Okay, I've got the board screwed on. You can see all my screws are in place inside. And I screwed the top, and uh, I've kind of pulled the fabric taut. So you can see what the end will end result will look like with the blue and the linen. And quick trick for you: one of the best ways to pull it, make sure you have it, is just use uh, just thumbtacks and uh, press these in. Especially with a fabric like linen, it's kind of stretchy, so you can pull it, tack it, and then I'll be able to pull it even more more taut so that I don't have any wrinkles like there are right now. Kind of see the wrinkles. So once it's pulled nice and taut, you won't you won't see that. And then I've got to do all the all the edges <clears throat> and uh and I'll be done and I'll show you once it's put all back together. Okay there it is 100 percent done. I'll show you staple that down you can see where the uh blue and tan on the inside or uh, silk and linen, silk and linen, leading edge. And I'll just hang it up and I'll show you show you on the wall or here. Yeah. Okay, and there it is done. And you can see it's much more neutral now. Um, We've just got that little line of blue, but the, uh, the the linen looks an awful lot like the walls. And uh, that's kind of the look Kathy and I are going for, because unlike that where it really stands out, it's kind of like an eyebrow hanging over the window, this just blends in. And that's it. Uh, I don't have any real training in upholstery or, or anything like that. I confess that my mother uh, does so and is a seamstress. And I asked her for a few tips on how to do it, but the, the number one thing is just taking something apart and looking at how it goes together. And, uh, and then when you redo it yourself, just put it together that way. Um, I took one apart and kind of inspected it, and the first one took me maybe three to four hours to do. And now I can do a whole one in about two hours. I think this one took me just over two hours, and that was even filming it. So I've only got two left to do. Um, hopefully I can get those ones done even even faster. So. I hope you guys found this useful. I know this isn't the kind of thing a lot of people are going to want to bother doing. But if you live in it and you have to look at it every day like I do, uh, it's definitely nice to have something that uh, that's a little bit more appealing than the, uh, the standard geometric patterns that uh, most RVs come with. So, anyways, till next time, happy travels.